at all. The chilly weather, perfect actually for football. And the snow won't arrive up north until tomorrow. Scott Steele is here with our forecast. And Scott, we won't see any major accumulation here, right? No, you're right. And uh, Charles Shannon, good evening to you. Good evening, everybody. As I like to say, timing is everything, and our timing works out perfectly. Green Bay, game time, kickoff, about 34 degrees and just some clouds around here in our neck of the woods. A little light precipitation starting to pop up on Storm Team 4 Max radar, mainly to the north of Milwaukee. We'll zoom in at the neighborhood level. Fond du Lac County, you're seeing a few sprinkles, drizzle drops, nothing more than that across the area. And in the metro area, a live look from our downtown tower cam looking to the north northwest just cloudy skies right now if you're going to be out and about heading to a friend's house for the game you should have dry pavement across most of the area but get ready for some damp days ahead across southeastern wisconsin with a few flakes mixed in but nothing like what we're going to see across parts of the north woods and north central wisconsin and then get ready for a real taste of winter around here it's going to turn blustery and bitter as we go through the middle and end of the upcoming work week. Outside right now, temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin generally mild in the mid to upper 40s, hanging near 50 degrees along the lake from Milwaukee through Racine into Kenosha, and 44 degrees right now in Watertown, a degree chillier for you fine folks joining us in Beaver Dam. Let me widen out the view though, head up north. Uh, north of the U.S. Canadian border and into Canada. Check out some of these readings. Fort Smith, three degrees, single digits as well in Thompson and just over the border in Winnipeg, 16 degrees. That's the cold air locked up north. It's going to sink southward as we go through the next several days. In fact, our future forecast temperature uh, computer model showing that we'll be okay tomorrow and even into the beginning of Tuesday, but then we'll plummet during the day on Tuesday, dropping to near freezing by the end of the day. And on Wednesday, our temperatures will be lucky if we approach 30 degrees. The bigger story though for some folks will be the future snowfall. Check out this computer model painting nearly a foot of snow from Wausau to Rhinelander Monday into Tuesday, wrapping up by Wednesday. Future forecast around here shows just a few sprinkles overnight tonight, and then we'll start to see uh, a thin spot or two in the clouds tomorrow afternoon before we get more precip on the way in time for Tuesday morning. Your storm team forecast for tonight around here, mostly cloudy and mild, light rain developing as we go through the overnight hours down to 37. Tomorrow then we'll see light rain and and maybe a little snow mixed into the north of Milwaukee around Fond du Lac, Sheboygan in the morning. Otherwise, cloudy, breezy, and seasonal up to 47. Here comes your storm team seven day forecast and get ready for the bottom to drop out of the temperatures Wednesday. Bitter cold, only about 30 degrees for a high. Thursday, similar situation. It's going to be cold with temperatures near 30 degrees. And then as we head through the rest of the week, no recovery in sight. Charles and Shannon, looks as though we're going to remain way below average, about 20 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Not a good sign, but it's that time of year. It's getting to be. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right. Well